Australia has entered the realm of autonomous military technology with the unveiling of the Autonomous Tactical Light Armor System Collaborative Combat Variant, the Atlas CCV, a groundbreaking uncrewed ground vehicle developed by BA Systems Australia. Introduced on September 11, 2024, at the Land Forces 2024 Exposition in Melbourne, the Atlas CCV represents the nation's first domestically engineered UGV, designed to enhance the Australian Army's capabilities in an increasingly complex regional security environment. This 8x8 wheeled, roughly 10-ton vehicle integrates advanced autonomy with proven armored systems, offering a modular, cost-effective platform to support crewed vehicles like infantry fighting vehicles and main battle tanks. Built in collaboration with Supercat, Valhalla turrets, and Australian manufacturer Marand, the Atlas CCV combines a high-mobility Supercat HMT chassis, a Cummins ISB 6.7-liter diesel engine, and an Allison 3000 transmission with a low-profile Vantage automated turret system, ATS, armed with a widely used M242 Bushmaster 25mm chain gun. Capable of engaging targets up to 2,500 meters with a 260-round dual-feed system, the Atlas CCV is poised to redefine Australia's approach to land warfare. The background of the Atlas CCV reflects BAE Systems Australia's strategic foresight and over three decades of expertise in autonomous systems. Self-funded and developed in under two years, the vehicle builds on the company's experience converting M113 armored personnel carriers into optionally manned platforms, a project that informed its rapid progression to a 90% complete demonstrator by its unveiling. The Atlas CCV emerged as the Australian Army's first armored regiment transitioned into a testing hub for emerging technologies. Aligning with the 2020 Defense Strategic Update and 2023 Defense Strategic Review, which prioritize modernization for littoral and regional operations. Andrew Gresham, Managing Director of Defense Delivery at BA Systems Australia, hailed it as a milestone, noting its ability to handle dull, dirty, and dangerous tasks, thereby enhancing soldiers' maneuverability and responsiveness against conventional and unconventional threats. Its autonomy system, supporting teleoperation, Follow Me Mode, Waypoint Navigation, and Goal-Based Mission Planning enables independent driving, obstacle avoidance, and tactical decision-making, while a 360-degree multi-spectral sensor suite, day cameras, thermal imaging, LiDAR, and more, bolsters its reconnaissance and targeting capabilities. Procurement of the Atlas CCV remains in its early stages as of April 2025, with no formal contract yet secured from the Australian Department of Defence. BAE Systems has pitched it to the Army, showcasing it in the service's camouflage scheme and leveraging its compatibility with existing platforms like the Boxer Combat Reconnaissance Vehicle and the forthcoming Redback IFV from the Land 400 program. Positioned as a medium UGV contender, it faces competition from tracked platforms like General Dynamics TRX Textron's Ripsaw M5, and Milrem's Type X, all of which are vying for similar roles globally. While the Atlas's wheeled design offers superior road speed and logistical simplicity, fitting into a 20-foot ISO container for transport by C-17 Globemaster or landing craft, its procurement hinges on government funding and alignment with broader defense priorities. BAE Systems is also exploring interim opportunities, such as upgrading optionally manned M113s -13s with Atlas-derived technology, suggesting a phased integration strategy that could precede full-scale adoption. Delivery timelines for the Atlas CCV are speculative without a procurement deal, but its advanced development state suggests production could commence in the mid to late 2020s if approved aligning with the Redback IFV's expected rollout around 2027-2028. The vehicle's reliance on established supply chains, such as Supercat's HMT components and the M242 Cannon, could expedite manufacturing once subsystems are qualified and software is fully trained. Its compact design and 6-ton payload capacity allow for tailored configurations, ranging from counter UAV systems to 120mm mortars ensuring flexibility for future mission needs. 
Survivability features, including tailored armor and run-flat tires, protect its autonomy systems and payload, which can include ammunition, fuel, and mission-critical gear, enhancing its utility as a force multiplier. Deployment of the Atlas CCV envisions it as a combat wingman alongside crewed assets, particularly in Australia's diverse operational theaters, from coastal littorals to inland deserts. Its eight-wheel drive, all-axle steering, and crab walk capability enable it to keep pace with MBTs, IFVs, and CRVs across complex terrains, while its firepower and sensor suite support roles like flank security, target engagement, and reconnaissance. The 1st Armored Regiment could serve as an initial testing and deployment hub, building on its M113 experience to integrate the Atlas into brigade-level operations. Capable of rapid regional projection, six units fit in a C-17, the vehicle aligns with Australia's Indo-Pacific focus, offering a scalable solution for combined arms teams tasked with deterrence and response. The role and purpose of the Atlas CCV Center on enhancing lethality and reducing risk to personnel. Armed with a human-in-the-loop 25mm turret, it provides direct fire support against light armor, infantry, and potentially drones, while its autonomy frees crewed units for higher priority tasks. Gresham emphasized its strategic fit. Atlas will enable the Australian Army to be fit to fight in the littoral environment, helping soldiers outpace, outmaneuver, and outthink threats. Its modular design supports diverse missions, from indirect fire with mortars to electronic surveillance, while its advanced command and control systems facilitate joint operations with shared mission data. By performing hazardous duties, it extends the reach and persistence of traditional forces, a critical advantage in contested environments. Looking to the future, the Atlas CCV holds significant potential its adaptability, supporting upgrades in autonomy, sensors, and weaponry, positions it to counter emerging threats like drones or advanced armor. Export prospects are promising, with its Australian origin and proven components appealing to allies like the US and UK, potentially boosting BA Systems' global standing. Integration with drones, HIMARS, or naval assets could create a networked, multi-domain capability, aligning with the Australian Defence Forces' joint vision. Compared to regional competitors, such as China's tracked UGVs or South Korea's K-21-based autonomous platforms, the Atlas's wheeled mobility and lower cost offer logistical and economic edges, though its lighter armor may limit it against heavily armored foes. Against the Ripsaw M5's tracked versatility, or the Typex's hybrid power, the Atlas excels in speed and transportability, making it ideal for rapid deployment in Australia's vast region. In conclusion, the Atlas CCV marks a bold step for Australia's defence innovation, blending autonomy, firepower and flexibility into a platform that complements its crewed forces. While procurement and delivery remain uncertain, its role as a risk-reducing, mission-enhancing asset is clear. Compared to competitors, it offers a unique balance of mobility and affordability, positioning it as a contender in the Indo-Pacific's evolving battlefield. If adopted, the Atlas could not only bolster Australia's military edge, but also signal its leadership in autonomous warfare technology, with far-reaching implications for regional security and beyond.